Hey, good morning everybody. Who remembers this shoe from Brooks? I won't make you wait anymore. This is the Brooks Aurora BL. BL just stood for Blue Line Labs. Blue Line Labs is just Brooks laboratory where they do different experimental things, try out new technology like new foams and whatnot. And in this process, in June of 2021, they created the Brooks Aurora BL, a fully decoupled midsole, nitrogen infused foam midsole, daily trainer that was supposed to bring the best of a bouncy cushion shoe together with something that was a little bit more lightweight and again, this decoupled groove to do, honestly, I don't know what. I already did a full review on this shoe. I never really found that decoupling the midsole did anything positive. It is an overall nice shoe. It's actually one of my favorite foams from Brooks, this nitrogen infused foam. And honestly, I had always wished that they just released a more normal daily trainer with this nitrogen infused foam. Maybe some of the simple ridges and edges that make a midsole more flexible, but don't actually separate it completely. It always just gave me a weird feeling on top of the otherwise really nice ride that this shoe has to have it fully decoupled. Long story short, why am I talking about this shoe? I was just gonna go for a run today and highlight some of this weird features that it has, like all these extra big bulbous like details that just add weight. You know, this giant heel <laughs> that looks like you're riding on a balloon. I just wanted to explore the style, take a run at it again, remind everybody how it feels, because honestly, you can still find it in some online retailers in the US today. There's some stores that have it sold out in most sizes, but there's others where it appears the full range of sizes is still available. And when I was reminding myself when this shoe came out all the way back in June of 2021, I stumbled across this video. So it turns out almost two years after it was originally released in sort of a limited quantity in the US only, Europe never got the shoe, no other regions ever have had their hands on this shoe, it turns out they're gonna re-release it slash finally fully release it globally. Now, two years is a long time. A lot of new shoes come out with you know new iterations of a shoe every single year. Frankly, foam technology, all these different material technologies advance pretty quickly in the world today. So what do you think about a company now releasing a shoe that's at least two years old since it first hit some of the markets and you know, what do we think? How does it stack up against some of the other shoes today? Nitrogen infused foam is not a secret anymore. It's something that many companies are doing. You know, I'm just curious how this has held up over the years and why Brooks has decided to release it again so much later than it really initially came out, at least in the US and for the world, they'll see it for the first time. So let's go out for a run, let's give it a try. It's a casual five mile run on my calendar, just tapering down for a mountain half marathon coming up in less than two weeks. So in that process, let's just take another look back and explore the Brooks Aurora BL. So while we're just kind of bopping along here on a super easy run today, there's one thing that I'm noticing right away with this shoe that's different from my memory of the shoe in the years prior. And that's that it feels a little bit dead 
and I think I'm keeping it separate from thoughts later because it's like one of two things one it aged and you know I used this shoe first almost two years ago and things can break down it's been through cold temperatures hot temperatures my body weight smashing down on this shoe and then it sat around for a while so that's a possibility that the foam is actually a little bit more of a longevity issue and it just died out a bit over the years the other thought I have is simply that technology has come further than I thought in the last two years some of the other nitrogen foams may feel softer and bouncier and more lively these days this is the first one that I have where I'm putting it back on years later so who knows but I do just want to mention that separately while I'm out here running and then we'll get back inside in just a moment and I'll give you my last thoughts on this shoe and what I think about its re-release. So how do I feel about the now full release of the Brooks Aurora BL two years essentially after it was created? Basically I'm left wanting a lot more than what this shoe has to offer. I think it made sense at the time as sort of an experimental shoe or something that was produced in more limited quantities. They were very open about it at the time that this was something they were trying out for the first time. It was an interesting concept and it was interesting in the way it looked as well to sort of be that experimental bouncy daily trainer. But two years later, I wish that they took the feedback or the ideas from the shoe and just molded it into something more normal or more usable. The decoupled groove in particular always causes me a lot of pain in my foot on like the plantar and underside of my foot. I think it's just when I tighten the shoe too much, I always find myself having to loosen it. And I wonder partially if that's because when I'm really locked in, the, the midsole being able to decouple and do such an unnatural bending motion might be putting excess strain on the bottom of my foot. And then the other thing about it is there's just so much material, including in this heel cup, where it's still rock hard. There's just not any padding. So if you're not gonna make it a plush daily trainer, you know, all this stuff is really bare bones. It's almost like structural. And then the rest of the material is just completely like see-through. There's a very thin sock booty to hug your foot over here in this sort of gusseted tongue or absence of a tongue altogether. And of course, there's just tons of foam on the outside. So I wish they remodeled this. I wish they used some of the ideas from this nitrogen foam, ideas from this shoe, and maybe just made a more normal daily trainer where they didn't have this decoupled groove. They cut back on some of the excess foam and they really just dialed in the upper of the shoe. And it would have actually been a really nice lightweight daily trainer. I had a lot of visions myself of what this shoe could have been and what I hoped it would become in terms of just more of this nitrogen foam in more of the Brooks daily trainer type shoes. You know, I don't know if they have anything like that planned for the future at this point, but it's just leaving me thinking, why would you re-release this shoe now? Ultimately, I would have to say, if you're somebody who's never tried this shoe and it comes out in your country or you're able to pick it up in a store in the United States in this re-release, I would really just let it pass. It's, it's not something that I would recommend for anybody. It was a cool experiment, again, under that sort of idea that it was a limited, you know, laboratory shoe but I don't like the idea that they've just taken it and now re-released it without any changes that I've heard of whatsoever and from what I can find. So let this one go. It's just one of the weirder shoes I've ever owned. Some people like it. It's definitely a possibility, again, of being a lightweight daily trainer for somebody who's trying to find shoes in that category, but definitely try it out in a running store if you can find it where they give you a chance to try it on a treadmill or a chance to go for like a, a mile run or less around the store just so you can feel if that pain is something that you feel from this really flexible decoupled midsole. So that's all I have for today. A fun look back at an interesting shoe for me. Hope you guys enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next video. Take care.